it's a pleasure to come your way there's something bothering my mind that i want to talk about right there is this protestant pastor during the second world war during hitler's second world war who wrote a poem okay he said first they came for the jew and i did not speak up then they came for the communists and i did not speak up then they came for the trade unionists i did not speak up and then finally they came for me and by the time they came for me there was no one to speak for me pastor nimola that's what he said and he did not speak up because he wasn't one of those people who were being persecuted at that time so he kept silent eventually when they came for him there wasn't anyone around to speak for him so they took him away and he ended up in the concentration camps the nazi concentration camps just like all, all the other people had suffered the same fate something is happening in ghana at this particular time you know ghana has gone through so many hardships so many problems we've been able to come out of all of those problems but this particular one is very peculiar it's not about military coups um what should i say it's not about farming this is something that threatens our humanhood our livelihood our lives and the issue is about Galamse. We've spoken about this. We've said a lot about this. To the extent that the president, Nana Adodanko Akufuado, stood on the platform and said, I put my presidency on the line and that I'm going to stop this. Eventually, it has come to light that the president's inner circle, people very close to the president, are the people who are involved with the Galamsee menace. And I come to think of it, many people are dying because of the kind of chemicals they use in extracting gold from the dust when they mine. And in such processes, they destroy our water bodies. Today, I listened to a program on TV3 and I was so astounded by the kind of revelations that were coming up to the extent. You know, I, I spoke to a friend and I had this concern that, you know, when you sit in Accra and you think Galamse is not closer to you, you'll be joking. In fact, you are joking. The water aquifer that we have in the whole world, the wherever you find yourself in, the water aquifer is underneath us. Rivers are on the top. When the rivers dry, the aquifers flow and we get water. So perhaps you think the river bodies have been destroyed but you have a borehole so you get water to drink my brother my sister my father my mother my uncle my grandfather you are joking because these heavy metals sink deep into the water aquifer so if you think you have dug a hole a, 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 a borehole and you are going to use that water these heavy metals have already reached there so no one is safe i've had so many people civil society organization calling for a total ban on small scale mining we have known the big mining companies to mine for a very long time so we put them aside but even them it is being difficult to be able to monitor them how many licenses have been given to people to mine and to say this is not like just ordinary people i've seen some pictures I've seen some pictures where close to 
main townships people have been given licenses to mine in areas where human habitation occurs and that is mind boggling i wonder what the minister for mines and natural resources go through i wonder does he even sleep does he even sleep soundly it, it baffles me so the call for the total ban on small scale mining is that when some people are saying total ban on galamse galamse actually is a criminal offense it's too absolutely illegal so you can't ban something that's already illegal what we need to do is to ban small scale mining ban it in its entirety and this is where i fought the president of the national house of chiefs or jiaho war um is it in japan or uh, or something the second the omahi of sefia miyasu nana Nana came out to speak about the consequences Ghana is going to face should we ban small-scale mining and that is going to have an economic effect on the nation. Nana Mamimbisao, let me speak to you. Nana Mamimbisao. Enti se obi, ewa umpote mo, umainum, se miyamiyaso, eni bibi ya udi hine. Nase ayembiya, what to turn punchy and I said, Oh, yeah, punchy. Now, yeah, yeah, I'm punching you. Baby, I'm punching you. And yet, this feed the Omo Mom Potimo. Now, yeah, yeah, I'm punching you. Now, a book, cool, cool, foie. Then, I can see in yam punching yen was umbreno. Now, you share in see a no coin. And I'll be catching me say, Would you tell me? that the economic consequences of stopping that person from wearing goods in, in that area will have dire consequences on us. Uh, you know, our culture doesn't allow us to speak harshly against our chiefs because we do revere them a lot. But some of our chiefs gives the young people a course to give it to them raw. I watched the video when Nana was speaking. Nana, I am here. Oh, galamse pit. Oh, pit. We are the two galamse. We be one. Any gold no ebrewa na. Because I I don't get it. People are dying. This thing need to be stopped. We regulated. We routed. Things checked. Anti galamse my no. No my Ghana no. Na yenti asia na. Na yendidi. Galamse have been with us for a very long time. So many years people have been mining in this country. Never has it reached the stage where it has reached now. Go to the eastern region, go to the western region. Recently, some parts of the Ashanti region, I can't quite remember where I saw that video. A school park has been given to somebody to mine. A school park right in the school, school will be given the school pack to the person to mine because the assembly has given a contract to the person to do something, but the assembly don't have money to give the person to execute the contract. So a school pack has been given to this person to mine the gold there. You know, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. It is so pathetic. It is so annoying. And we need to speak up now. So just like Pastor Nimula, if you are sitting there and you don't want to speak up because you fear, hey, you're people will come and insult me. People will come and throw me. They will come for you. And no one will speak for you. And for those of you who say, let us not politicize it, please, please, we shouldn't politicize it. We are in the political season. And 
anyone who will be contesting with the ruling government has the right to politicize it because the president himself politicized the issue when he said i will put my presidency on the line and if you put your presidency on the line and the very person that you selected to lead a task force professor from form what i still can remember what you said about professor from form what and why you launched the operation gallant stop the things that you said about him an astute politician and you said and um, a heart surgeon and a whole lot of things he has credibility and then professor from what brought a report based on what you asked him to do and you debunk it President Nakufado, you, you will go down in history as the worst president Ghana has ever had. Ghana has never had a president as callous as you are. And you go down in history as the worst president Ghana has ever had, including military rule. Because you are actually a disgrace to the country you know how can you be destroying vegetation how can you be destroying forests how can you allow the lands and natural resources minister to give out mining licenses to people to mine in ecosystem protected parks and then you end up telling us to plant trees what are we planting the trees for we are hypocrites and pastors in the country, lawyers in the country, chief justices and justices of the Supreme Court, everyone is silent. Everyone is quiet. We are not speaking. But when it goes and comes around, it will come to all of us. And we will all suffer the consequences for what these people are doing to the country. So, please, if you say we shouldn't politicize this, I beg to differ. We need to politicize it. And before I end, the vice president of the country, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, is vying for the presidency. Excuse me, Mr. Vice President. Ben Shao Kamden Tichen Nam did Galamse Madi Tichen Namawa. Abin Yaya. Abin Yaya. Ulakaku Taksi Ben Shao. Bumbo Zuka and him silent. Mr. Vice President. Bumbo Zuka and him silent. You ministers, ma. Bumbo Bush. Kabinem Galamse, ma. You never. You haven't seen your ministers who are in the bush doing Galamse. And all the reports that have come, everything, I mean, you have become silent. And you want anybody to take you serious? I don't think you want the presidency. And if you really mean it, then you are a coward. Not a Mahmoud Bamiya, you are a coward. If you want Ghanaians to take you very serious, this is the time to start speaking. Stop the digitization talk and talk about things that threatens the livelihood of the nation you can't just be silent the things that are happening are pathetic it's killing people and if you are silent on galamse when you yourself know that you should buy down your heads in shape there are people who have been given licenses to mine like some pine the mayor of kumasi when did he get into mining? He's been given the job to be the mayor of Kumasi to make sure that Kumasi works. That you have a private company that has taken a mining concession and is mining. Look, Ghanaians, we are sitting on a time bomb. We are sitting on a dangerous time bomb and the time to speak is now. Pastors, imams, lawyers, judges, Chief Justices, everyone needs to speak up. We don't have to be quiet. Because if we are silent, the future generation will come at us. They will blame us. They will insult us in future. And we wouldn't, we would never have anything to say. The time to speak is now. And it is very strange that people who are mining in the forest and destroying our vegetation and our river bodies are left 
and those who go on a demonstration against these particular act that is destroying the country are rather arrested and put in jail and denied bail. Jesus Christ. Look, I will speak my mind. Anytime we talk of governance change, people pigeonhole you. You know what? The MPP has no business to even contest these elections. You have failed. Only with Galamse, you have failed. You have failed all Ghanaians. And if I was Bamiya, I would just decide to shut up and sit somewhere. But this is politics. We won't see it that way. Those pastors, those imams, those chiefs, those kings, so-called kings, who have all decided to keep quiet. Aban and I remember trying. They did not faso. When they came for the Jews, I kept silent because I wasn't a Jew. And then they came for the communists. I kept silent because I wasn't a communist. And they came for the trade unionists. I kept silent because I wasn't a trade unionist. And then they came for me. And there wasn't anyone to speak for me. If we continue to be silent, that is what we are going to go through. And at the last minute, at the 11th hour, Jesus, what have I done? But it will be too late. Speak up. Let's start talking. Let's speak up. Let's not be silent. Ghana Bar Association, the justices of the Supreme Court, all the magistrates and the justices of the lower courts, pastors, imams, chiefs, let us speak up. Don't be afraid people will come at you. Let us speak up. And I tell you, we are sitting on a time bomb. Ghana has a youthful population. And if you keep oppressing them, one day, I better say, poof. And when that happens, nobody will want that, have to, that to happen. But when that happens, there wouldn't be anyone to stop it. Because it would have arisen to here, to the extent that nobody can stand it. And there will be chaos. Let us speak up. Let us ban totally small scale mining. Those who have concessions, those who don't have concessions, those who have licenses, those who don't have licenses, let us stop all of them. Ghana will not die. Before they came into existence, Ghana was alive. We lived. Let us stop all of them. I restructure everything. Ojia Hoho, Yao, JB, the second, Paramount Chief of Sevilla Yanso, and the President of the National House of Chiefs. Yana, when you make Guasio, when you make Guasi, on Potimo, two or two Galamsi, Ukoko Nina, I say. We say yes. Talk about them. Say yeah. Every day, I come back. Another day, never back. And now, yes, stop. The BCBA, NC, yeah, yeah, Kado. Yes, stop. The Mabewudi, yes, stop. Galam say si kano. Ni paro no se ngo toko eni eko. Nana, se bimba ubo toma. We man for the mwa he eno mubi. Eno nti the economic consequences. Economic consequences. You will get your economic um, advantage, but when you end up seeing all your people die, what will you do with the money? Nana, we are penny. I say so. My capacity now, but penny, if you should be tea, or you should not be there, in some now kind of, and you say who, Nana, you don't deserve to be the president of the National House of Chiefs. And for now, you don't deserve it. Minyaya, kwa samba abekasa mwa kinsa wa kana nasi, because this is a shame to hear from the president of the National House of Chiefs, Anomaihine of Sivia Nyaso, 
Ojia Hoho, Yajibi, the second. Nana, Ojia Hoho, Ojia Hoho, I will open a whole bay and I do all mine. Yeah, Mamma Makam and Mofra and Cassintiamo. That you are moving, be moving, Vono, Bodi Econo, some Mofrani and Cassintiamo, Munjai, Bodi and Dachi, the Gua to pray. Tia Beccachamo, the Beccasi winning. Moya am winning was a four. The Akos be a Makam or two, Mumpasam Beccasa. Tis a woman of Montana who tunes you cry. Now we shall see who knew me this. Nana, me and Penny four. Monka Sanchere, a bayon. Because my lineage is nano, yeni. Monka Sanchere, a bayon. A bayon, Penny four. One do a moche than I say, Muno. Monka Sanchere, a bayon. No two one more. I say, I'm my tenting at Yakukubini. I'm my tenting at Yakukubini. To wait a word to the wise is enough. We are sitting on the time on a time bomb. Let us not wait for it to detonate and destroy a lot of things before we start speaking. Because by then, there wouldn't be anyone to help us solve our issues. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section. And let's continue to let the talking go on. Things will be better. I thank you very much.